Hey everybody, um, in this devlog, I'm proud to show you this little uh, office cubicle that I've been making, um, the office cube. I've been having a, a lot of fun uh, learning how to save um, combinations of meshes as a blueprint. And so uh, I'm sure many of you already know how to do that. Um, but for any uh, beginning game developers who don't know how to uh, select meshes and save them as a blueprint, stick around because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, but before I do, just give you a quick tour here. See, so this is a em empty cube. Uh, we have my bedroom cube here that I've been working on with some books. Um, we have a greenhouse and then the office. Some lights on the ceiling there. Okay, anyway, uh, notice that these cubes on the left are already blueprints, so they are all as one. Um, but over here, the office cubes um, are not. So you see I can uh, select and hide various meshes. So um, uh, I'll see you later. Anybody who already knows how to do this, but for anybody who uh, would like to know how to combine meshes into blueprints, stick around and I will show you. So it's pretty simple. What we're going to do is basically select every mesh that we want to be in the blueprint and then come up and uh, select these little three dots right here. I'm going to say, uh, well, nothing selected now, but so we'll come up and we'll say uh, convert selection to blue blueprint class. So one thing I could do is I could come in here, I could shift click everything, floor, ceiling, walls, shelf, laptop, you know, okay, but that's quite slow. So instead what I like to do is um, come into the top view and then select over here everything. But I've screwed this up so many times. I've learned you have to deselect the main floor. So control click on the floor. And the sky uh, sphere gets selected too. You see that? So you want to scroll up, even though you don't see it in there selected, uh, you want to scroll up to the sky sphere and deselect that. So now it should just be the floors and walls and meshes and everything. Um, and so I'll go back to my perspective view. Uh, we'll come up to the blueprint, uh, these little three dots here. And we'll say convert selection to blueprint class. Now I've heard that uh, harvest components is a better setting than child actors. So I just choose that and I give it a name. Uh, let me call it uh, cool cube office. Save it. All right. And now it will automatically open that blueprint. Now you have a blueprint with all those meshes saved up in here. Um, so that's basically it. I will show you one catch though. Um, and that is when you drag in your blueprint, let me save all this. Uh, when you drag it in, it's gonna bury it. See that halfway down? So every time you have to pull it up. But there is a fix for that. So let me show you. Um, you wanna drag it out and then leave it. And then come up to edit and uh, you want to go to your viewport and uh, you want to select everything below shared root. So you don't want to share, sorry, uh, you don't want to click on shared root, but everything below it. And then you just want to move those up. And, and, and what that's doing is it's uh, moving it relative to the shared root. So I'm going to move it up a little bit, compile, and then I'm going to look back in my scene and look at that. It's almost perfect now. Uh, maybe a little low. Um, so I could come back to that. Maybe change my setting to 10. Move it up just a little bit, one notch. Compile, go back. See that? And it will change for you. Um, okay, so that is the basics um, on how to make these cubes. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments and um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day uh, and happy, de happy developing. Bye.